Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, in this moment of creation, as God's breath breathed life, there was free will that was granted. Free will means that at every moment you choose what it is you think and what it is you feel and how it is you respond to every circumstance, every thought, every nuance of emotion that comes forth from you is manifesting and is creating into the world. And many, many of us were taught that there was no control over this. We were merely to respond or react to any given circumstance. Beloveds, you must understand that this is not the truth. And the truth is that each moment we have the God-given choice to say what we will think, how we will speak, how we will act, whom we will love, for we are meant to love all as God loves. When you have been granting yourselves five minutes to come and be in communion with a crisis consciousness, notice how uncomfortable this makes you. Notice how you would rather do anything else. Notice how just sitting in the peace and the love and the joy that this consciousness of love is makes you want to crawl out of your skin, out of the illusion of the body. The egoic mind would rather have you doing anything other than just being with the very, very truth of you. Why is this? Have you asked yourself, why is it that it is oddly difficult for you, for me, for any, to just rest in the presence of love? What happens when you allow yourself to be present to love as you become lost in love? And the ego is trying to call you back, trying to lay down breadcrumbs saying, don't get lost there. Come back to what is familiar. Come back to the world of judgment. Come back to understanding that there is right and there is wrong. Understanding that there are those who are lesser and those who are higher. Ego is calling to you, calling to you, calling to you. For when you get lost in the land of love, when you get lost in the purpose of loving and being present to love only, there is an alchemical, spiritual alignment that happens that you become present to love and love only. And that it spoils the game of living within an egoic world. You no longer look to judge another and say, I don't want that. You look upon all things and say, ah, there is only love that is present here. You learn to love what has frightened you. You learn to step boldly into the actions that you never wanted to do. You learn to care for yourself and others in a way that you have not before. Because you come to remember that most precious action that you can take is to love. To love with all that you have and all that you are. That is the truth of you. So use that free will, beloveds, to choose love at every, every, every instant. Imagine yourself in the most glorious situations and notice where you have wanted to indulge in the ego that has fear 
projected everywhere like wallpaper. Tear the wallpaper down, beloveds, and look to the truth that sits underneath it, sits beyond the facade. And the truth is that only love is real. What does that actually mean? It means that every breath you take, you breathe in and you exhale love. It means that every action that you take, every movement that you make is done through love and with love and as love. It means that every word that you speak is spoken as a word of love and with love. It means that you are quick to forgive yourself when you forget. It means that you are quick to say, I am sorry and I love you and please forgive me this beautiful blessed Hawaiian prayer. It is that you are in concert with nature, that you spend time outdoors, that you commune with trees and plants and creatures. And understand, beloveds, that you are creatures as well. The same way that you would love a tree, allow yourself to know, love another. The same way that you would love an animal, allow yourself to love yourself. If you would take care and feed and bathe, any being, beloveds, feed and bathe yourself with love. Let love be the expression of you. Time and time and time again, you have allowed yourself to go back into these cycles of incarnation, beating your head against karmic walls, saying, why have I not gotten this yet? I love it's all there is for you to do is to remember that you are as God created you. And the ego will fight and say, God did not create us. We make these choices. We make these decisions. It's just not true. Know that the love that I hold for you is more precious than anything. I am with you at every moment. Always. Look within and find me and allow me to guide you to the truth, to the love, and to the light. Blessings to you, beloved ones. I will speak with you again. <laughs>